I do check the comments as well too, and I did see the comment from Wums R B L X active for a microphone test. If you're Ever since I was in high school, I've always been interested in technology. It could be between phones, speakers, headphones, and actually while I was in high school, I got interested into a certain type of tech, and that was smartwatches. At the time, smartwatches were pretty popular. The Apple Watch was out, I think it was the S Series 3 that was out, and Galaxy just came out with their S3 around that time of me being in high school but I wasn't able to afford it, so instead I ended up getting the Galaxy S2 watch. This watch was my favorite watch of all time around high school years. Being able to text off this thing, make phone calls, change my music screen, catch me walking, like to do all of that stuff while I was in high school was kind of a big flex in my eyes. But as I got older and older, I realized that the design for this is really, really bad actually. And the battery life for this thing is pretty crappy. And all the features for this thing I never really used. So it was really kind of pointless to even have this watch to begin with. And then I'm sure you guys seen the video, my Apple Watch SE, where I actually had that watch and I was used it for about a month. And then I ended up giving it away to someone because I ended up switching over to the Google Pixel 5 from my, my iPhone XR. So there was no point in me having an Apple Watch anymore. So I sold that. So then I became watchless. I've been searching for a watch for like the past three months now, and I think I finally found the perfect watch for me. This is the Fossil Hybrid HR, and this is my favorite watch of all time so far. This video isn't sponsored. This is my true opinion talking about the Fossil Hybrid. I'm gonna break this video up into sections, so check out the little bar at the bottom to see which um, section you wanna really hear about. And without further ado, you know, I think it's just time to get straight into the Fossil Hybrid HR. Okay, first, let's talk about the design of this watch. This watch design gives off an uh, urban ergonomic look, if that's the word that you want to use for it. This watch, from the view of it, doesn't even look like a smart watch that you can see. It looks like an actual average watch, like an average urban watch that you would wear like down the street or to like a job interview or any of that stuff, you would wear like this type of watch to it. However, this still is a tech watch, but the design of giving it an urban look, I really, really like a lot. It has the hour and the minute hand, so it still has that same form factor of an average watch that you would see. It still has the three buttons on the side, and that actually controls some smart features to the watch that I actually get into later on the video. And these watch bands actually are interchangeable as well too. So like your average watch, the Apple Watch, the Galaxy Watch, these can be replaced. Overall, the main design of this watch, the front and back, it's about like an urban watch. Like I said, you couldn't even tell that it was a smartwatch if no one told you. If you just saw this thing on someone's wrist, you could literally pass this watch as just like a regular watch. But it's not a regular watch. And talking about not being a regular watch, we're gonna move on to the second part, which is the customization of the watch. Okay, so I had to pull my phone out to show you guys the customization because for a watch that does not look like a smartwatch, this actually has a lot of really, really cool customizations for it that I just absolutely love. And I think this is what really gets it for me that this is really the watch that I actually like the most. Anyway, as you can see on the side of the screen right here, this is the interface for the customization of the app. So if you scroll right, you can see here that they already have some presets, watch faces. Um, they have some with like a fitness, some with like a travel, a orbit, and a status. For the sake of this part right now, I'm actually gonna just go to this little setting button right here. I'm gonna click my faces, and this is where all the magic happens. Like this is probably like the most beautiful part about this watch. If we go over to new watch face, you can customize this screen on this watch as like anything you want it to be, literally. So let's say for example, we click that, we go to edit. As you can see here, we have like seven different watch faces to choose from. Um, all of it's gonna be black and white. The screen is an e-ink screen, so it only does black and white, but 
if you're going for that urban look, black and white is kind of what you need to go for. So if you're going for the urban look, this is it. This is it for you. But let's say, for example, we just want to click this one. We could pick this one for the watch face and we can add like stickers to it at all. So let's say I add like this little bird sticker or whatnot. We're gonna put that at the bottom of the screen. Let's say I can add some text on it too. You can pick different fonts. I have a, actually a lot of fonts to choose from, which is pretty, pretty cool actually. I forgot about this, honestly. But you have four different colors to choose from as well. So we're just gonna go for one random one. Pick this one right here, click add. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna just put Zay 11. Add OK, and then boom, say 11's here. We're gonna put that underneath, what, the fossil. See if I can make it smaller. I can't make it smaller. So we're gonna put that right underneath there. And then let's say if we wanna add like a picture as well too, we can go, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna add a picture I took about my uh, phone, my Google Pixel. So let's say I wanna um, add this into here. I can actually have some picture effects too, like a soft look, a carbon look, more contrast or more exposed. I'm just gonna go with classic right now. Click choose and then boom, that's there. Let's actually change the lettering. We're gonna actually get rid of this. Drag here to delete. We're gonna get some black lettering and we're gonna put Zay 11 in black so it can actually be contrast from behind. There we go, Zay 11. Let's say you wanna add a widget to here as well too. So you wanna see like the current temperature or the step that you took, the heart rate, the date, chances of rain, calories, all of that stuff, you can add those into the screen as well too. For the sake of this video, let's go for a battery. We're just gonna drag battery, we're gonna carry it to the top. And then boom, has your batteries right there. And let's say, for example, this wallpaper is like too white, so I can't really see it that much. I'm like in the sunlight. You can actually tap on the widget and you can click the ring button and you can actually outline the ring so it's more visible to you. And let's say if you have like a back background and this one doesn't work for you, you can go right over there and you can click any of the white ones. We can have like a little gold ring as well too. So it tells you like the little bar around the circle about how dead the battery's about to be or the battery percentage, I should say. And then let's say that's really all we wanna do for here right now. So what we do, we click the top right, the check button. And then let's say for example, the three little buttons that you would normally have on um, any type of watch, you can actually change those to be what you want them to be. And they have a really, really good variety of um, different things to do. The Fossil Hybrid HR doesn't have as many as the regular Fossil Hybrid. The regular Fossil Hybrid has a lot more, but this one still has a pretty decent amount. It has like a workout mode, a stopwatch, the pass notifications, time, weather, commute hour, and connect challenge music control as well too. So let's say if I wanna have that top button to be the stopwatch, we can do that. Have the timer be the middle one and then have the music control be the last one. So we're done with the watch face. This is our watch face. So this is my regular watch face right now. You can see it right there. It's just like a regular old thing. So if I go ahead and click apply in the top right, you can see the watch. It actually changes to however I want it to be. You can't beat that. For a watch that looks like this, to add a little bit more customization to it, the urban look is just mind blowing. Of course the Apple Watch can do this, but they can't do it like Fossil can. Like, come on now. So yes, the customization for this thing, for it being the type of watch that it is, the ergonomic watch, it really has a lot of customization features, I would say so, that makes it really yours if you really think about it but now it's time to move on to the last and final part which is the hardware okay so let's talk about the hardware of this device so this battery is probably the best battery i've ever seen in any watch so far this battery can last you up to 14 days of battery life. Even with it being on your wrist the entire time and you using all the features, it can last 14 days. Not even the Apple Watch can do that and not even the Galaxy Watch can do that. And I doubt the Fitbit can do that either, but I never had a Fitbit, but I doubt the Fitbit even does that. 14 hour battery life and for it to be charged all the way, it takes about like two to three hours. This is the charger for it. All you have to do to charge this device is just of course connect this piece to an adapter 
plug it into the wall and on the back of the device is some magnets with some two little gold uh, circles on the back. You grab the charger and you just stick it onto the back. Just like that and boom, it's charging. It tells you the battery on the phone so you can always see the battery on the phone as well too. And like I said, this takes about like two to three hours from like zero to like a hundred. And it gives you a full battery that lasts 14 days straight. The length of the watch is 22 millimeters and it weighs about 250 km. This actually does not have a lot of weight to it. I wouldn't say so, but on my wrist, it does have weight to it. And compared to the Galaxy watch, it is a bit more heavier, mainly because it is a little bit thicker and a little bit longer compared to the Galaxy watch. But um, you wouldn't feel the difference on the average hand. This is the best weight watch i would say so for this type of size so it kind of works out for it as well too and like i said before this screen does use an e-ink screen so this screen it won't burn out it won't mess up unless you like punch it or something of that sort which i highly doubt you would do on a watch anyway but this screen is really really durable as well too so that's my review of the fossil hybrid watch this watch is literally my favorite watch of all time. This is a watch that I'm gonna be keeping and wearing for a long time. I've had this watch for about two, three, two or three months now, and I absolutely love this watch to the max. And I'm actually gonna put this on right now because that's how much I really, really love this watch. A couple of other things, small little details that it has. Um, you can actually compete with friends on the app. So if any of your friends have like a fossil hybrid, you can compete with like runs, uh, workouts, uh, calories burned, all of those things, kind of like how any other watch would do. And that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Comment what else you would like to see videos on. I do check the comments as well too. And I did see the comment from Wums RBLX active for a microphone test. If you're asking for which microphone that I use, I'll leave it in the description below so you can see which microphone that I use. But I do plan on upgrading this microphone soon. So sorry if the quality of the microphone is pretty bad on your end. I'm working on it, but slow progress is some progress. But hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, it's been Zay11. Peace. Okay, I'm actually, wow, I'm used to Jason being here.